Yo, what's up, everybody? Today's Monday, a couple days after my first exhibition fight. You can see my little my little shiner there that I got. That's about it. Pretty much standard, man. I could get a little black eye like that just from a class or maybe sparring after the class. So it didn't take any more damage than really just a normal training day. Um, so I don't know if that means we go a little hard at my gym or what. People always say, like, don't hard spar too often. But, uh, yeah, I can definitely walk away from a, just a normal class doing drills with a black eye or a bloody nose if I'm not, uh, you know, blocking well on my game or just whatever from going with someone that goes harder. So, anyways, walked away from that fight with a little black eye. Uh, gave my opponent a similar little black eye. So pretty even, it looked like, in terms of damage. Uh, dished out. Uh, now this was an exhibition fight, so no one's hand got raised. There was technically no winner. Um, other boxers, people that watched, you know, I asked them to give me my honest, give them my honest opinion. Um, people were saying I probably would have won a split decision. Um, I, as you'll see in the video, um, I go forward the whole time I fight, really, man. I probably need another strategy at times, but I just pressure fight. I just want to get in there and engage with the opponent. Um, so maybe for ring generalship, um, and people were saying I landed some of the harder shots. I don't know if I landed um, more shots, though. Uh, so, you know, my opponent was was really good. You know, mad respect to him. Um, he was, yeah, he was, it was a great matchup. I mean, um, he was really evasive and elusive. And going backwards or not going forward doesn't mean you're punking out of a fight or nothing like that. You know, he could just be like an outfighter. He could be more of a counterpuncher. So just because I'm going forward doesn't mean that he was like afraid of me or nothing like that either. I mean, he was not afraid of me. He stood in there and, and, you know, traded shots with me and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, first off, just mad respect to him. Again, I don't really give out names on this video, on these uh, videos at all. Uh, but mad respect to him if he somehow stumbles upon this. Um, and, you know, we all chatted and hung out afterward. He was a great opponent, a uh, good even matchup, you know, um, overall. So it was a great experience. Um, I'm slightly disappointed in myself, which I figured I would be for some reason or another. But I didn't have like a super complex game plan going into this fight. But I did have um, about like four or five combos that I wanted to throw. And when I got in there, I don't know if I threw any of them. Like, it's, it all just kind of went out the window. I feel like I sort of more so turned into just like a street brawler that kept my hands up and moved my head some, you know? Like, it wasn't my best boxing. Um, I definitely had done better when I did that, um, that fight slash kind of hard sparring with dudes from the other gyms. Um, I was a little more uh, strategic in that. Uh, so, you know, I kind of let myself down a bit where, like, just even a simple thing like, oh, I want to do 1-1-2, one, one, I want to do a 1-2-3-2, two, two. Uh, you know, just basic combos that I just sort of totally forgot to try to throw. Um, part of the reason why I may have forgot to try to throw them, though, too, was he had a little bit of reach on me. And I'm not normally used to having a reach disadvantage. So sometimes when I was trying to step into range, I would be like one step or a half step away from getting ready to launch my attack. And then he would boom, pop me with a jab or something, you know. And even if I blocked it, um, it would still kind of throw me off my game for a second. And then if you do get caught with a punch, or at least me, like when I did get caught with one, like, my reaction was just to immediately fire one back. Like, not even thinking about what the punch was going to be. It was almost just kind of like, ah, he got me. I need to neutralize that as soon as possible. Uh, so that could also be a little bit why my combos went out the window. I mean, I threw some, but they weren't necessarily what I thought I was even going to throw going into it. You know, it was kind of weird. So it's all a big blur. Um, I also threw some, like, wild hooks without even trying to set them up. You'll see when you watch the video. Um, and he was slippery, man. Like, I got him against the ropes or in a corner from time to time. And he would find his way to, like, slip out of there without, you know, just fighting me in a phone booth. Um, so I guess those are my thoughts. I mean, overall, I think it went good. 
Um, you know, it's probably about all you can expect for your first fight with all the adrenaline and all eyes on me and all that kind of stuff going on. Um, but it was, it was awesome, man. I'm super glad I did it. Um, my nerves weren't too bad going into it just because I know that the dudes at the gym battle tested me. I work with guys that are like a lot bigger, you know, out of my weight class, like much bigger. One of the guys I spar is like 240. Uh, I work with guys that have up to one of the, I think one of the guys has like 17 fights or maybe it's like 20 fights and he's like 17 and five or something. So I work with a lot of different dudes. I wasn't too worried and I know I have a good chin. So I was like, look, no matter what, even if this dude's rocking me, um, he's not, or outboxing me, he's not going to like KO me by any means, you know? Um, so I wasn't super nervous, but there were definitely some pre-fight nerves, you know? Um, so it was three two minute rounds. It was an exhibition. Again, no one's hand got held. Uh, people were telling me I probably would have won rounds one and two, but not round three. Um, I'm not sure if I even feel that way looking back at it. I mean, overall it was like a pretty darn even fight, you know? Um, and he had, he had success against me. I had success against him. So, you know, who technically would have won, I guess, doesn't really matter. You always kind of want to know, but, uh, it was a, it was a great first, it was a great experience. It was his first fight as well. Um, I think he was like 23 or something and I'm 41. So hanging with these young bucks when it comes to cardio and stuff is a bit harder. Um, you guys know, or maybe you don't know, but yeah, you know, I've definitely done my share of like partying in my life. Um, I had smoked cigarettes on and off. So, uh, for me to even get the lungs and all that to even do one of these is kind of wild. Um, so he probably had, you know, youth and like better life decisions going for him. Um, but let's see, is there anything else I should say before I just play the video? Probably not, man. It's a first fight. I'm sure any of you guys that fought know what it's going to be. Um, not super sloppy, but definitely kind of sloppy, I would say, you know, um, not my best boxing, like I had said, but could have absolutely been worse. Um, I was hoping to get something a little more definitive in there, like a knockdown or something. Um, but got some, landed some nice shots and, um, you know, it's all good, man. Um, I'm pretty happy with it overall. I'm still deciding if I'm going to do more fights or not. My bucket list was to do a fight. Um, I'll probably do more. And the fighting part is honestly like the easy part, man. I'll get in there and fight any day of the week. That's kind of why I started getting into boxing. I'm not afraid of uh, like violence. But the warm up to it, you know, the dieting and the conditioning and just staying in like fight shape, like it's a lifestyle, you know. I went from 196 not long ago down to, I weighed in at like 180 before this fight. I haven't been this light in my entire life. And I definitely got pretty shredded when it comes to fat, but I also lost some muscle in the process. So that kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, it's like it's a lifestyle, so it's tough, you know, it's hard to balance that with work, it's hard to balance that with doing things around the house, hard to balance that with going out to eat and having a couple of drinks with your friends. So if I don't end up doing more fights, it's really only going to be because of those other things that I just mentioned, not because of like a fear to get in the ring or nothing like that. Um, but I probably will. I suspect that I'll probably end up doing more fights. Um... So, but anyways, more to come, you know, no matter what, I'm going to keep doing boxing training, um, and I'm sure I'll end up fighting again. So, you know, don't, don't unsubscribe thinking, oh, well, that was it. It's over. He's never going to fight again. I probably will. Um, I still got more gear reviews to do and all that kind of stuff too. So this thing will stay alive. Um, I'm an accountant and I'm starting to head into like early audit season. So, you know, work might kick up a little bit, but either way, I'm going to keep banging, banging away over here. Um, so you guys, I'll run, I'll run the video. It's three rounds. And then, um, after that, I got a couple still photos that I can, uh, comment on. You know, some of them make me look good. Some of them make me look bad. It's all good. It is what it is. So anyways, uh, first fight in the books. Check that off my bucket list. That was awesome. Uh, proud that I made it into the ring. So thanks for following along. All right. We'll talk to you guys. Come on. 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 Come on.
Josh. 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 Where's the one? Where's the fake? 
Alright, here we got a nice right hand I landed. Dropped my left a little too far, but that right landed nice. Here, uh, I had my guard up, didn't matter. My opponent split my guard and rocked me with a jab. Here's another right hand that landed, but again, dropped my left a little too much. This is just both of us first fight kind of sloppiness there going on. Uh, another right hand that got through, uh, I think my left's coming back from a punch maybe. And this last one here, jab, nice to see my right hand up, but my chin is also up. Should have had my chin down. <laughs> 